That's a lot of heavy hitters going into this one. And losing this bracket as well, especially. You got Wadi, you know, you have Beast, you have Kells, Esam going up against Goblin in losers round four. You kidding me? Mr. Are you e, kidding me? Mr. E and Miles, Q, Rash, and Ah. Uh, you have all of these amazing players still in losers bracket. But guys, enough about that. Let's get into the set that we have happening in front of us. Sharp actually going to be opting to go for the Zero Suit, which I honestly think is an excellent choice because not only does she have amazing mobility, one of the few to actually contest Sonic in that field, but huge disjoints just to keep him at bay. I mean, Hazmat puts it best. Basically, ZSS is, is vertical Sonic where you can just kind of do the thing that Sonic does, except you're doing it up and down instead of side to side. Now, should be noted, Sonic does have a winning record against this ZSS at 15-2-5, but that is not necessarily an indicator of the future now, is it? Or certainly, that is what Sharp is hoping for here on Pokemon Stadium. Three stocks apiece, and right now a lot of damage being put onto this ZSS, but... I mean, Sharp needs to have an adjustment to the game yep. plan if they want this to be effective. What do you think Sharp needs to do in order to make this happen? Um, the biggest thing is, you know, patience is so important in any time that you're fighting Sonic right now. Both, like, they're still, like, once again, just getting a feel for each other for today. So, um, it just so happens that I feel like Sharp is just not guessing right on a lot of these approaches that Sonix is going for. And now we're seeing Sonix finally start to really mix it up with down airs. Able to get down B into neutral to finish it off. And Sonix sitting at only 40-40%. So, you know, that means, um, he will no longer, you know, be too willing to play into the suit's airspace. Right? Just, just want to probably try to stay as far away as possible. But Sharp is giving him quite the chase. Yeah, Sonic is going to be maintaining the social distance for the most part, and that is very good and very safe, generally speaking. But if you're sharp, oh man, you're trying to get up close and personal now, and there's no real choice that you have to do it. I mean, this is a character that obviously can close down distance and frustrate just a little bit, and we're going to uh, address this, hopefully. But yeah, that's uh, going to be one of those options, those running off with the Zare on the platform. Sonic's, though... So good with their spacing in general. Sharp getting opportunities is going to be more few and far in, uh, in between than perhaps the New Englander would like. Sonic's just once again just playing so patiently, just charging down being a corner. Ooh. Once again, Sharp finding the call out with down smash. And actually, the first time it didn't convert, but was still able to catch the dash back out of the pressure, recognizing the lack of frame advantage on the paralyzer. So, you know what? Excellent stuff to Sharp. Uh, really the biggest thing about this game, and I'll say this time and time again, percent leads mean almost nothing, stock leads matter, because in Ultimate especially, it is a little bit more difficult for many characters to close out stocks than it is to get you a 0 to 60 bread and butters. Um, so percent leads disappear in a flash, stock leads, especially against somebody with as much sustainability as Sonic, always gonna be so, so valuable. The flip kick, and Sonic's Again, just, I mean, catching him with the up air, which has improved significantly since the launch of the game. I remember up air just not working at all for whatever reason. And, uh, well, Sonic's right now going to take advantage of every little bit of, Sonic, of Sonic's kit. That is a weird thing to have to say, Sonic's and then Sonic's with the possessive. Mm -hmm. Regardless of that, it is Sonic's in possession of the lead at the moment, and a pretty significant one, Dar. Sonic is just constantly crossing up shield, catching Sharp's next approach, retreating to the other side of the stage, mixing it up with a falling nail that's back here. Sharp was not ready for that at all. Sharp was fully anticipating, you know, going all the way back to the other side of the stage, but you know what? Sonic's mixed it up and got the kill as a result. Beautiful way to get it. A spot in top eight on the line here. They know the stakes and they know the consequences of losing is going to have to be to, uh, have to take on one of these incredible challengers on loser's side as, again, no real decisive uh, thing saying that Sonics is completely out of the woods yet. There's a way for Sharp to get back into this thing, but, I mean, Sharp is chasing the blue blur, and there's not a whole lot you can do when, uh, when, that, when Sonic gets running. Oh. Tries to go for the tilt, trying to establish them, uh, some button. 
on flat ground. But oh, this is yeah. so hard. Like Shrub has not been able to get a single combo still getting hit in. Every single interaction that he wins only gives him so much damage. Sonic's finds wow. the kill confirmed, does exactly what he did, and I gotta say that. That game was just all, you know, in and out, so the Sonic show through and through. That was, that was tough, you know, and as Sharp, the best thing that you can do is just try to hold that. You gotta attain the early lead against Sonic, because if you don't get that early lead, um, you know, Sonic just kind of running away from you, the whole game happens. Yeah, Sonic's doing so well in pretty much every single tournament that they do, they have a chance to win it. The winner of the most mm -hmm. recent Get Clipped, beating Jake in Grand Finals and in the reset, winning that out of losers. The, the only person that beat them in that tournament was, in fact, Jake in Winner's Final. So, something to be said about just how effective Sonics can be in literally every tournament that they win. Finishing second in last week's Galaxy Gambit, in fact, uh, beating Sharp in that process by a score of 3-0 in loser's quarterfinal in top eight. Sharp going Wolf and Pyra in that one. But I think it's Pyra, right? Okay, I'm getting that correct. Whatever. Either way, we're going Either to way. game number two. Game number two, going to switch wolf to the and... Wolf. Um, I actually kind of agree with this choice because I feel like Wolf, especially at low percent, has a much more explosive advantage state. You get a falling quarter, you get a falling neutral, you know, you get a set of tech chases. While Zero Suit forces like a little bit more of a patient game. That's exactly what I mean, you know, able to get a trip, not able to fully extend it though. There's a little bit too much knockback. Good DI on, uh, on Sonic's is part, just able to reset the situation. It's one and quarter finals matchup. It is intense, but yeah, the Wolf has had a measure of success against Sonics in the past, but simply was not happening, especially the convincing win last week in game number one between these two by Sonics. Sharp is being brought back to Wolf O'Donnell yet again to see mm -hmm. if uh, perhaps they can attain just a little bit of victory. And I can only imagine it has to do with being able to read Sonic's movement, which grabbing a hold of this Sonic gonna be like trying, trying to grab onto a so bar of soap in a bath and also the bathtub is going at 60 miles an hour <laughs> yeah sonic's is so slippery just quite literally running circles around sharp right now finally finds that four to go setting up a ledge trap right now really awful position to be in but sonic's ends up fighting his way out there and gets the denial with spring an excellent edge guard you slip up once against sonic off stage and that's what happens uh, and Wolf, especially with such a linear and exploitable recovery, really all out of options at that point. And now they're going to have to make it happen on flat ground. Nice little footstool. Maybe trying to catch, uh, trying to deliver a message to Sonics, but Sonics just ain't listening. Good spot dodge there. And got to take those neutral interactions uh, where you can get it. That's, that's what this game is, man. It's really just rock, paper, scissors, isn't it? Just, you know, multiple times instead of one, generally speaking, if online cooperates. Anyway, Sharp going to establish ledge control. But, yeah, got caught on the jump at 156%, and Sharp doing well to keep themselves in this. They are not one to quit on a set, Dara. Yeah, no, not at all. I'm starting to slowly inch their way back into this one right now, but Sonic's is just playing at a really comfortable range right now. Really just trying to get an understanding and a feel of how Sharp is going to be looking. Um, to use these lasers right now because it's a good poking tool. It's a conditioning tool. You get to see how your opponent responds um, So Sonic is trying to catch that next option moving around each other. They're both playing so patiently right now You need just nerves of steel the How did that snare not connect? Oh, You're gonna tell me that wolf snare already active one of the most, you know, like the meta relevant sex kicks in the game didn't connect Jeez, that's a. Uh, I don't know why it happened the way it did, but I feel bad for Charlie. It's a game of pixels, Dara. It is just absolute masterful movement from Sonics, and I will not say otherwise here. As the ace of bandits, the uh, one of the top players in the Dominican Republic, has become the top player online and trying to stake their claim to such against an opponent like Sharp. They've been able to do so frequently. If you can take down Sharp on a consistent basis, you have earned your spot as one of the top players on the planet. And Sonic's right now trying to close out this second stock. However, the dash attack from Sharp, they're keeping themselves in this one, but Ooh. if they can find the kill, 
These well, lunch mix-ups from Sonic are so good. Yeah. You know, he's so aware of all of these like the food poussins. He always has like a kill good food and knows exactly what move is gonna kill at this point. So, and now look how patiently he is playing once again, just barely maneuvering around that laser. Gotta say, Sonic is just playing this so well. Sharp needs to find a way in. Good call out. The the way that Sharp approached, baited the approach back onto center stage. That was that was cool. That's exactly what we're gonna do, gotta do against Sonic. You gotta get close enough, and then try to punish his retreat back onto the other side of the stage. I mean, Sharp is doing so well to keep it, uh, at the very least, consistent. It's a more methodical mm -hmm. game, number two, is it not? But that's also kind of uh, the deal. You need a good bit of patience when you're playing against Sonic, generally speaking. And if not, I mean, Sonic has the closing speed more than anyone else to uh, kind of take your head off. This wolf, however, keeping their claws sharpened and at the alert, looking for that nair and is going to hit the shield of Sonic instead. And oh man, Sonic is just so is good at punishing it? off of the ledge. Isn't the edge guard right now? <gasps> the flash is going to connect, but it's and not get the spike one. Thankfully, yeah, no, Sonic's is still going to be in it, still kicking. Shark finds his way back on. Sonic's got a little bit too aggressive instead of like focusing on the ledge trap. Didn't properly recognize. Uh, that's no but right now both of them at a, almost a completely even game at a minute and 46 seconds on the clock so we're still not in the realm of a timeout but you know what on the who eyes of who show you again just pursuing them to the ends of the earth this sonic will go to chase down their prey but oh man back this to is, a little uh... bit of stage this could be it is that gonna be the spring but an amazing double jump to stall just a little oh, bit oh look at that not it <gasps> yeah. Oh, the donkey kick's still not doing it. The spring hits them back to the stage, and Sharp is going to stay alive here, but they need to Sharp get is, on Sharp flat is ground. chilling. Sharp is living. Sharp is chilling. Sharp needs one more hit to be able to get this. Not even ground down at 180%. Oh, oh my no. Oh, I buddy. honestly thought they were going to just try to read a roll in for down smash, but instead goes to the ledge. Sharp, maybe overextending just a little bit, hits the shield on the dash attack, and they're going to maintain center stage for now. That's kind of where they want to be. You do <gasps> not right want to give him a chance to go off He's stage. He's still living. They, they, they keeps getting hit back to the stage by Did that he... spring, and Sharp right now living at 200. I don't know if chilling is the word I'd use, Dara. Oh, he's chilling. Oh, he is vibing, my friend, because an F tilt, a dash attack, any of Wolf's boost options at this point will be able to do it. So Sharp is just playing safely, not committing to anything yet. It is 20 seconds off the clock, so Sonic's is like, yeah, I'm good on the interaction portion of, portion of this game, you know. He's just running away. Going for a timeout is exactly what you want to do because you guess wrong against Wolf and you are dead. Yeah, but it's going to be Sharp that has to guess here. Five seconds, no, gets the dash but... attack, but oh, they get tagged instead. Oh my god, that yeah. dash attack, that dash attack, I need to replay on that dash attack. That was so tragic. That was so sad. Yeah, this is going to be therapeutic, if nothing else, for <laughs> Sharp. And that's going to be a game to victory. Look at this dash attack. Victory. Look how sad this dash attack is. Uh, no, I don't bloody. know why that happened. I, nor does Sharp. I can only imagine the reaction that we saw on that stream, but Why? Uh, it, it, it came out just in time for Sonic. Sonic's just timed oh it perfectly. Oh my god, but, dude. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a 2-0 victory for Sonic's, who's going to move on into top eight winner's side. I mean, it's going to be a brutal matchup forever comes through the, uh, the loser's side, but... I mean, that's uh, uh, what that a was way so to lose. Sad. Dude, that was tragic. Because all that Sharp needed was one hit. He has lived like eight kill attempts from Sonic's up until that point. Like two edge guards, and, and my man was just surviving. So that means Sonic's is, yeah, Sonic's is confirmed to make it into top eight. So really, really good stuff to him, guys. I believe we actually have just one more set ahead of us.